So I have a Cobra CB radio right here and the uh, display has stopped working. The LCD is still backlit but there is nothing displaying on it. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, fix a common issue um, with the Cobra 29LX LCD CB radio. Um, I've had this radio for about a year since it started um, and it started doing this uh, problem or started having this problem that we're gonna fix today. So if you if you have the same issue, um, don't worry, that we can fix it real quick. This will take you about 15 to 20 minutes um, and hopefully um, get it working again. These are the tools you're probably gonna need. Um, mostly the Phillips screwdriver, maybe a knife just to uh, help you out with a couple things. You'll need this to cut some zip ties um, on the wiring. Um, this is a very important tool. You might want to have two of them, just a regular plastic uh, toothpick. Um, I'm sure you could probably use a wooden one, but this, this works better because it's got the little hook on it. Um, and a flashlight so you can see better um, down in the little corners of the, uh, the radio. All right, thank you so much. Let's get started. After removing your radio, first thing you want to do is take off these little nuts on the side here of the radio. And uh, just use a screwdriver or a knife to get it started and take it out completely. You want to lay the radio down, um, upside down on the table, and because you, you will be taking off this top um, cover here, the one with the speaker or the bottom cover of the radio. So you're going to remove these screws on the side here, there's four screws. You're going to remove them and that will get you to take the panel off. Once you remove your screws, you take the top of this or this will be the bottom of the radio and you move it off to the side. You will see that you have your speaker here and your speaker wires kind of laid off to the side. And with every, um, since, since you're going to be working in here, just be careful of these wires so you don't uh, break them off. Um, just be aware of them. But mainly this is where you're going to be working in, in this area here. You don't necessarily have to take off the face of the radio. Um, I did in my case, so I could just show you the wire that goes around the, um, from the display to the back. If you do, uh, the knob simply pull off to the top, um, and the, uh, there's these screws right here. They are the ones that remove this plastic face here. Once you take everything apart, you're trying to get to the little section right there, right beneath this knob there. So some of these wires, some of these zip ties, might have to snip them off just to leave, give you more room. Be careful not to cut any wiring. That's, that's common sense. Once you remove these zip ties, it should give you more room to, uh, more wiggle room to push that back and get in there. If you notice on the front of the display here, there was a little um, flat. Um, wire coming out of from the display right here. That wire goes to the back there and connects to a connector. It tends to get loose. This is what actually feeds the display. This is what actually displays your numbers right here. Now if you're using uh, tools be sure you're using something like this. This is just a you know to pick whatever you call it. Um, something plastic. Do not try to use metal or paper clips or anything like that. And keep in mind this is very tiny over here so you want to be careful not to um, not to break it or uh, damage any of the components in the back. So if you look in the back here, I'm not sure if you can notice, there's a connector that it connects to. Now if you notice on the top here, there's a black, little black bar that comes down and clamps down on it. Once again, use something like a plastic toothpick, maybe two of them, to bring it up, to undo it, and then pull that um, the wire out and put it back in because this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to make that content um, uh, good again. So you pull it out and you pull it back in. It's going to take you some time because it's so tiny and trying to maneuver it in there. But once you seat it back in there, you want to push it as far down as you can and then clamp down on that black connector once again. You can use your fingernail and clamp down on that black connector all the way. I have to do it several times until you feel it click in place. So once you got that done, um, you want to put your radio back together the same way you took it apart. Just retrace your steps. Uh, make sure you don't have any uh, screws missing once you're done. So we're going to hook the radio back up. 
remember when you're hooking up the radio um, do not power the radio on without the antenna being hooked up so you want to hook up the antenna hook up the power slide it back in there hook up your microphone and then power it on so I have it hooked up slid it up in there and let's test it out I'll turn it on and voila this play is working just fine Good luck, guys. I hope this uh, I hope this fix works for you. Um, if it doesn't, unfortunately, you might want to take it to a CB shop and have them look at it. Um, but I just wanted to make a video because this seems to be a common issue with these radios. Um, that that little connector there vibrates loose, so um, it's easy to put it back in and and get your radio working again. Once again, good luck, guys, and thanks for watching.